Hey folks, Hope here, and welcome to a new SMP series where I tricked my friends into playing hardcore Minecraft with me. Welcome to Minecraft SOS. This is a hardcore Minecraft SMP with a twist. When a player dies, they spawn a gravestone with a countdown to their permanent death. However, they can be resurrected by other players using the new fate coin. But fate coins are limited and are awarded only through events and hidden challenges. If a dead player is not resurrected in 24 hours, they are kicked out of the series for good. Keep your coins close and don't die. Be sure to subscribe if you're new as it helps me out a ton and leave a like if you're excited we have 14 people on this series including myself so a few of us gathered at spawn for a quick send off into the world the group did chat for a while and i decided to just run off into the forest and get started before night falls owen and l two new members to our crew ran off in the same direction as me so we spent a little bit of time getting set up with some tools ah stone pickaxes there you go Woo. hey Thank easy you. Thank yeah. you much. taking my table with me though oh a cave Ooh. Oh, Ooh, I will not go. be going in that. Oh, some coal. Yeah, but it's so easy to find iron in a cave. It is, but it's also so easy to die in a cave. There's no mobs right now. <gasps> iron! Bye -bye. Yes, iron! This is a good day. There's a shield? Shield. Shield! More iron. Perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I can make a pickaxe. Where do I make a bucket? I don't know. Oh, there's a ton. Oh, we can make both. Yes, this is really big. I've got 12 iron ingots here and I'm thinking what's the most armor we can get out of this that would leave me with five and then we can do a helmet and that's seven I probably should have saved some iron to be able to craft more tools but that's that's fine we'll find some more when we get going and I want to find my way out I'd love to get above ground we'll take the lapis with us though I'm so not used to the early game anymore because I'm so used to having all my netherite and everything so this is this is a little spooky I'm a little terrified here but we're gonna get through it there's a zombie right above me. Oh, hi, buddy. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can hit me through there. Right. Uh, goodbye. Let's get that. Yeah, cool. Now we're, now we're in the... We've killed the monster club. And that is a giant terrifying cave. I will come back for this copper later to build with because I can't help myself. But I just... Ooh, there's iron near that zombie, though. There's the last piece of iron smelted down. And now we can make full iron armor here with our chest piece. And bam. Oh, I'm feeling a lot better already. Oh, there's so many skeletons. Why are there so many skeletons? No, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for leading me to the iron. I appreciate it. We're good. We're good. Ah. Ooh, deep sea level. <gasps> Could we find the first diamond? Oh, I might have to go look. Fantastic cave. I'm really glad I did. Ooh, there's so much iron. Oh, there's skulk. Oh, there's skulk. Not good. Not good. Not good to not good to have skulk. <gasps> oh, diamond though. <gasps> Two diamonds. Three. Three diamonds. Three diamonds. We can make a pickaxe. Four diamonds. Okay, we got six diamonds. Uh, that is, I'm getting the heck out of here mode. And spawn. <gasps> Amazing. Yes. And a parrot. I need a friend. This will crown off the beautiful diamond mining adventure that we just did. Get down here. Get down here. Beat my friend. Okay, I will find more seeds. Make you my friend. Sorry, I know proper tactic. Use the water bucket. Be my friend. Yes. We got a parrot. Love it. I got a blue parrot to go with my blue diamonds. Heck yeah, let's go. Right, I made it back to spawn here and the obelisk is floating right there. And I'll be honest, a little controversial take. I think I want to base in the birch forest right back here. Let's go explore a little ways because I want to be able to see spawn from where I am. I don't really know what I want to do for a base yet outside of the fact that I know, oh, we've got a bunch of sheep here. This could be the spot. I know I want to have a theme about trying to feed the server. And I wanted to base along a river. If this is flat enough to build on, or at least like terraform a decent amount, we could just survive here. Yeah, I I could put a starter base up here. Let's 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 live here. Yeah, this is. Wait, I kind of love this. We're gonna take our sticks here and make our first diamond pickaxe. Oh, that I love that. That feels so good. There's no advancement for that. Wow, it's been a long time since I've done this. Okay, we're gonna leave the rest of our diamonds in here, and I think I'm just gonna exist off iron tools for the rest for now, because I don't really want to waste them. And clearing out a bit of the space in the forest, I think this will actually work really well. One, mining with stone and iron is so slow. Two, apparently I have a bit of a death ravine right in my base. I almost fell down that so many times. And three, uh, our burp needs a name. So please leave name ideas in the comments. Right now, I just have a bunch of birch and I would like to get some oak going so we can make a few animal pens. I've, I've seen those sheep around and I have the iron to make some shears. Wait, why am I trying to make fences? We're here to build and make cool stuff. I don't want fences. I could be using the leaves from these trees. 
Give me that. Nope, where's that iron? Where's the iron? There, there, there's the iron. Give me those shears. Yeah, this is how we make an animal pen with style. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go over there. There's this nice like flat bit that's kind of on a bit of a hill. I think I can most mow the trees down do a bit of deforestation but you know like not yeah. the bad kind yeah um, yeah yeah. to build a tree home. you know you got to deforest yeah. to then make a bigger tree i get it i've been yeah, there i'm We've putting done that. the tree back into the tree yeah 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 you just gotta take a bunch of the little trees smash them together and somehow big tree happens that's how it works okay so i've got all these leaves now and i just kind of realized something uh I don't have a way to lure any sheep back into a pen because I don't have any wheat quite yet. I do like this flatter section for a house, so we're gonna leave that for now. And we can just use this guy. We can make ourselves a hoe. We've got a water bucket and I've got a few seeds in here. And we can maybe start right here. We can start with that and we'll just create a little bit of a plot of land and get it all going. Oh my gosh, I just, why did I jump over that? I hate this. I do, however, have bones. So we now have bone meal and I now have wheat. Perfect. That's a good little field to get ourselves started and that'll start growing and I've got enough wheat to be able to lure and breed some sheepies. So I realized that I actually need a place for an animal pen. So we got to clear more land. That could be our way in. And then I really do want to use the oak leaves. And from the inside, it's just going to be this so that the animals can't actually jump out. But we'll give them a decent amount of space to hang. Animal pen is ready. Now I just need some animals. And uh, we're just going to do that to keep them safe from any creepers. That's not a good sign. That is... Did you eat the sheep that were here? Oh, no. Okay, we got to be really careful. I probably am going to need to change the animal pen. Oh, we have one sheep. We have two sheep. Okay, come on. Let's go down along the water to be very, very far. Ooh, flowers. Okay, just follow me. It'll be easy. Yes. No, no, no. Come on. Save from the wolves, please. Ooh, dark oak. No, stop eating the grass. Look at this beautiful wheat. Come on now, please. That is the smallest dark oak forest I've ever seen, but I love it. <laughs> Oh, please don't fall in the ravine. Oh, don't push each other. Please don't. Ooh, okay, we're good. Yay! Baby sheepy, we're good. Oh, that's amazing. Right, that's good. Now I need to actually shear them so I can make a bed before the wolves come and eat my sheep. There we go. Now we have a bed. Not that a respawn point's gonna do anything. I would like to go do a little bit of an exploring here around this massive lake and just see what's going on. We have a massive jungle here, obviously, and also some sand. Quick stop here at the stony shore. We can jump into the jungle as I really want to grab a few saplings. And to be honest, just a lot of wood. So let's just chop a big boy down. Nobody's going to notice. Okay, we got 11 saplings out of that and about a stack and a half of logs. I think that's good to keep on moving. Wait, hold up, hold, hold, hold. Azalea leaves. Wait, that's huge. That's that's actually massive. Rooted dirt. Yes, I love rooted dirt. But more importantly, we can get azalea leaves and azalea bushes and all that stuff. And if we dig down, I should be able to find a lush cave, which means moss. You know what? This exploration trip is for above ground. So I think I'm going to come back later. There's another tree right back in there. So I will be able to remember where this is. We've got another thing. Look at that, a village. Hopefully nobody's right at it yet. I would love to grab some carrots and potatoes. This village is quite literally on top of the mountain. Okay, this is, at least we've got a river there and the lake's there. I wonder, do they connect at all? It doesn't look like it. Hi, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure you stay in here for now, okay? We're gonna be best of friends. Yeah, I'll come back for you in a minute, all right? And we have a stone cutter. Wait, that is exactly what I need. Oh, I need so much of this stuff. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> it has been so long since I fought a creeper with just an iron sword. Because this is absolutely essential to building a base, I'm going to pick a lot of flowers. I can see it now. Rolling fields of little lavender bushes all over the place. Well, alliums, but I made them look like lavender because it's so much better. Now, I need to bring a friend home with me. Well, start the journey of bringing a friend home with me. Who wants to get on a boat? Anybody? Yes, we've got our first friend. Let's go. I don't take fall damage in a boat, right? I'm sure it's fine. And we've made it to the water. Okay, here's the plan. If I dig a tunnel through here, I can easily move multiple villagers back and forth to my base. I do have a diamond pickaxe, so this shouldn't be too bad. Right, buddy? Right? Yeah, 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 he, he's on board. Let's just make some chests. 
as a place to put all of my current junk before I fill up on even more junk. Is this a great use of my time at the start of a hardcore series? Absolutely not, but I want to do things differently in this series compared to my main single player world. As I already know, I can survive for thousands of days, so why not make them as fun as possible? I've dug all the way through it now, just clearing out a little bit of coal ahead because I need some more of it. But there we go. We can access the lake all the way back to where our stuff is. I just need to fill this in with some water and it should be smooth sailing all the way home. Don't worry, buddy. We did it. Welcome, my friend. Welcome to your brand new home at the edge of the lake. We're just at the far side of the lake. You're going to stay down there for a little bit until I can find a place to keep you a little bit safer. You know what? Before I go get him a friend, he probably needs a place to live. Let's let's tackle that first. I might regret this one, but I'm going to make some axes and let's make a ton of planks and we can make ourselves a bunch of oak planks. I think for our first house, let's just clear a little bit more space over here next to our sheep pen. So it's not where I want to build my starter house, just a little work shack off to the side. I started just slapping some blocks together with oak and birch for the walls using cobblestone for the floor, just as I have a lot of these materials right now. I have a rough idea of the build style I want to go with. So we're going to try and experimenting with that and a few of the details before I have too many materials to really dive in with that. I mean, wow, isn't it just beautiful? Wow, I'm such a good builder. On the inside, I'm trying to create spaces where we can install some villagers. Like we can have two in right there, and then maybe we do another two right here. I don't want to go too crazy with villagers, so we're just going to get a few for now to get started. I'm not even planning to zombie cure them or anything. But uh, yeah, don't worry. Uh, before you do leave, I do plan to strip all this birch down. I just want to make the roof first. And for the roof, there are two blocks that I need a lot of. One, bricks. Two, spruce. Bricks we can get by mining all of the clay here inside of the river and really just destroying it underneath. Oh, there's a trident boy. Okay, we are uh, suddenly have no desire at all to get any clay. Now for the spruce, we need to go on a little bit of a journey. And I think from the top of this mountain, we can see a bit of spruce. Maybe there's a wolf. You're looking cute. Okay. <gasps> yes, there we go. Spruce. Let's go. I hate completely destroying all of the spruce trees up here. So we're just going to get a few and grab a few saplings and uh, hopefully have enough to detail out the shack. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not dying into powdered snow. Oh, there's so much up here. What the heck? Okay, there's four saplings, which means we can grow a big tree and that will get us going. I really don't want pods all everywhere across from my base. We can come over here and just plant a few of the big spruce boys down and they'll they'll just do their own thing here. And the trident boy seems to be gone, so we can just come back down here and pick up the rest of our clay. I decided to work my way back up the river and just gather as much clay as I could going along because it doesn't get us too far. So I've been looking at the house and it was too big. So I tore it down and shrunk it where I think this is much better for now. All of my bricks are done so we can smelt these or craft these down into actual brick blocks and that's not too many. So let's take half of them, turn them into stairs, do the rest of slabs, and then we can do a bunch of granite slabs too. I wanna go with a bit of like a Mediterranean style for this. So I'm thinking at the top, we don't really overhang all that much. And we just bring some stairs going directly across here with our bricks. And then the top, we're just going to bring this going across. But then, of course, I do want to break a few of these bricks that we just put down and we can replace them with our granite slabs, making it look just a touch more weathered and just to break up the consistency of the brick. I did craft a lot of our spruce down into some fences and we can maybe do something in here. I think our transition into the roof could be a little bit better. So let's bring out our stone axe because my uh, iron one is long gone. And across here, we could just do some birch stairs going to allow even more air flowing through. Okay, I think this is starting to look pretty good. We'll throw a ceiling in, but I think I'm comfortable enough to strip down all of this and actually see what the build will look like. No, oh my gosh. Oh, you just made a creeper sound and that terrified me a little guy. <laughs> Ah! Why did you do that? There's no creeper around here. And just for some fun little decorations, we could do that. I got a flower pot and we could just drop our oak sapling in. And then I do have a fancy lantern to help light all this up. I've gotten a little carried away setting the space up, but I think we are about ready to move some villagers in. Where is my friend? You're still alive. Great. I've got a home for you. There's a stone cutter. Can he climb this? Oh, he's a professional. Go, buddy, go. Okay, you're a stone mason. Great, great, great. Let's keep that attitude going. And over here. Yes. How about in here? 
Oh, look at it. Ooh, piece of candy. Go get it. Wow. Yay. Yeah. What about over there? No, no. No, that's actually... No. Yes? Into the corner? Into the corner? Into your... No, 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 in the box. Oh, that's okay. No, no I'm not trying to trap you. Come on now. We're going to be great friends forever. We're going to be hanging out so much. Let's just slowly move you closer. Yeah, we're going to hang out a ton. I just... Yeah. Uh-huh. This is a great place to talk, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Sucker, you're trapped in there forever. But you get a job, though. Thank you. I've got clay I can just convert into bricks now, which is great because we just do that. And then we buy there. Perfect. And that way we get the same amount of bricks out of the clay and we don't have to smelt it. So even just this is actually helping. Let's make ourselves another stone cutter and we've got to go get another villager. I forgot about my stuff I left behind. Oh, we can bring this back home now too. You can come home with me now. Yeah. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Because you want to, not because this is kidnapping you. Thank you. And we're in the water. Look at that. You can already see our first house over there on the hill. Come on, buddy. Let's go up. Find your friend. Here you go, buddy. Your friend's right in here. Yay. Well, friendship. Look, your friend over in the corner really wants to talk to you. No, come on. This way. You sit in the box. Thank you. Woohoo. We got two villagers. Ha ha ha. Sucker. I mean, welcome home. We're going to be such good friends. They're going to love me. Give me all your bricks right now. And there we go. Our first villager house is already done. I added a little bit of extra interior in here too, and I'm very happy with it. And I now have enough dirt to fill in the death trap over here. Well, at least a little bit of it. Well, yeah, you won't die on that part. It's fine. It's okay. I just, uh, I just logged in and, uh, one, there's a skeleton right there behind me, but I was taking a little bit of break, got some food and, um, Moxwab's dead. He's, his gravestone's ticking down. If that hits zero, he's he's out of the series. I'm gonna save him because I want to be a good person and hope somebody does that for me. But like, it's my only token, you know? Can't be just throwing these around willy nilly. I don't got a way to get an extra one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, all right. I got my coin. Uh, where does he live? Hey, Mog, you there, buddy? Oh, oh, I'm hearing I'm hearing noises from the other side. Let's see if we can communicate with him. I, I've had his spirit guide me through the magic of coordinates to uh get over here and i think that cherry tree is the right location um if there's a where would a where would a gravestone uh sheep hello sheep that's a hello hi uh, hi is that you mom are you did you get turned into a sheep it's me i'm hi okay uh this is good that i could talk to you which sheep are you? i there's a lot of buying in here uh, Here, let me, one. let me, yeah, I don't, I don't have an axe. Okay, yeah, oh, is that, okay, you. that's, that's Mog Sheep. Okay, all right, hi, Mog I think, Sheep. I think this is torture for, for me, <laughs> for me putting them in there. I couldn't get out. I was, I was stuck there by my own design. Okay, yeah, uh, all right, so where did you die? Where'd you die, Mog Sheep? Where did Mog Swamp oh, die? Uh, Lead me, come up lead here. me. <clears throat> come, ah, <clears throat> God, that keeps happening. Come up here. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's just... Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay. Do you, do you have a way to release the sheep back into it? its normal? Or are you, like, permanently a sheep? Do you live as a sheep? Or are you, like, spirit taking over the sheep? I don't know. It was really painful the first... <clears throat> it was really painful the first time. I have a proposition for you. Uh-huh. Okay. I want to give you my coin. Your coin? Yeah, for, for reviving me. Okay, yeah, I think that's a... I was going to say you've got a lot of saplings out here, but, you know, a coin for a, a life sounds pretty good to me. I like that deal. No, I feel I feel so bad for using your coin. I want you to have mine, only you can't use it on me again, Okay. obviously. I have That that way I have to be really care care <clears throat> careful. Yeah, uh-huh. Release that one. Let's let's get you back in your body okay. here. All right. All right. Oh, man. Ah! Three, two, one. Oh, ah, there you are. Look at you. You're standing on two so feet much. again. Thank oh, you so, thanks. so much. That wow. was horrible. I think I'm never going to put this sheep back in that back in that enclosure. Yeah, it just lives free now. It's yeah. And in fact, I might have to set them all free. <laughs> yeah, that after, it looks like it really needed seven... a snack after that. It needed a meal and to think that one over. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, but I was, I was AFK. Oh, I was no. AFK. <laughs> I thought I logged out. I thought I logged oh, out. Oh, no. You I heard. What? And the thing is, I did that thing, the classic thing. I heard a skeleton. I was like, oh, my God, I didn't log out. I start sprinting up the <laughs> stairs 
I got right as I get to my computer, I died. I was so oh, sad. Oh no! Well, you know, at least you're at least you're back with us now, and yeah, you know, it, it's only one coin, so it's it's pretty easy. I guess at least I'm not the first death, but I definitely don't want to be the second death. So I cleared out another chunk of trees, then planted all of my sugar cane right over there. Now I want to use this new clearing for some cows. This should be plenty of space now to just actually you now find some cows. Or we make the pathway back to the rest of the base, because that's equally important, right? I want my base to feel almost summery and a warm weather environment, so using the cobblestone here to contrast against our buildings should work great for the pathways. Sounds like Scott settled down right next to me, so he came over to say hello and uh, apparently has some cows I can bring home. Oh, we're so close to each other. I can still see my house. Yeah. Well, yeah, I can see my chimney. You Yay. see the chimney. It's great because you can see that in the bamboo every so often. If you have an enchanting setup, then you're my neighbor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're giving me Until some cows. I I, I've been <laughs> looking for cows for like 10 minutes and I couldn't oh, find Jimmy, any and I gave up. Last... And uh, I'll, I'll let you know when it's finished and set up and all that stuff. Thank you, Scott. Sounds good. Bye. Bye, neighbor. Right in here. Here, come on. No, we lost one. The start of the herd. There we go. And I'm going to go return these leads before I forget. I also got a ton of sugarcane from Scott, so we can keep expanding the plot that I've been growing here along the edge of the river. And that is going to be very, very nice. Honestly, I think we almost already have enough for an enchanting table if I harvest all of it, but I would love to have a little extra. I'm not sure I even mentioned, but my whole purpose behind what I'm doing here is to get an enchanting setup so that we can, you know, get a little bit of better gear going. I've got the diamonds in here to make a table, but I uh, still need some obsidian, so maybe I can find some surface lava around here. No luck above ground, but I do need to stay nearby so the cows are going to keep on growing, so I decided to jump down here into the caves, and, well, we have a bunch of coal ahead of us, no lava found so far, but I'm listening out for any of those, like, lava gurgling sounds, and hopefully that'll find some. Well, lead us to some and we don't fall into it. That'd be great. I went back to drop off a few things in storage and I heard some gurgling and I, yeah, oh, we're getting really close. You can hear the lava in the back. That sounds terrifyingly close. Down that way? Down this way. Ah, lava. Okay, that's amazing. That is definitely enough for another portal and an enchanting setup. Woohoo! Now I just gotta sit here for like five minutes to get enough. Now begins the true Minecrafty grind, trying to kill time while I can breed up all of the cows. So I decided to spend some time clearing out a few more trees, tending to all of our crop fields, and then building a small well in the future center of town, maybe who really knows at this point, and started using iron pickaxes to dig a mining branch going down to diamond level, as I didn't want to waste my current diamond pickaxe. Hi. Pants lady is here. Pants lady. Hi, pants lady. What's going on? Get you... your pants here. Traveling pants lady. That's me. <laughs> I love it. Hi. What Fresh can I do for you? from the ancient city. I'm wow. selling pants. Wow. What can I do to get in those pants of yours? <laughs> <laughs> there, okay. I have two pants stuff. I got protection four pants or okay. protection three unbreaking three pants. Ooh. I think I'd go with the prop four personally if that's... Good choice. Good choice. A personal favorite of mine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, what do you have to offer me in exchange? Well, I've got cherry saplings right over here if you don't got those yet, because I heard there's somebody trying to make a monopoly on the server. So if you want to help ruin a monopoly and spread them around, we can we can go for that. I've got cocoa beans. I've got bamboo. I'll take the cherry blossoms. Yes, 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 please. Thank you very much. All righty. Let me just keep uh, let me keep one or two for myself right there, and I'll give you the rest of them. It's not going to make me more... Ah! Oh my gosh, it's just He's it's just that me. parrot. He keeps doing that to me and I keep jumping out of my chair. That was terrifying. I think I stood in like the worst possible <laughs> yeah. location too. Every time okay, I well, walk by him, he does it. I hate it. It's horrible. You little, I'm going to kill you in your sleep. I've gotten a good amount of carrots though. So I think we can kind of move them into their own patch right over here to separate it from the wheat because I'm getting a little confused by it. To have less water sources, I'm taking away a few of these and uh, just waterlogging the slab and then we can stretch it right along the road. Nope, that is not a carrot. That is a cobblestone. Common misconception. One thing I'm a little worried about right now, I only have four steak left. A lot of the wheat is grown up now, which is good. So we're getting a bit of a surplus. So maybe I can use that to make some bread to feed myself. But uh, I do want to save a lot of it so I can keep breeding up our animals. Four steak is plenty for now. And I do want to continue stocking up on building materials. So I chopped all of the big trees down. 
that was so worth it. Look how much wood we got. But I am down to three steak. Another quick round of cow breeding up here. Still trying to kill some time. I ran back down into the mines for a little exploring as I found a cave system and wanted to pick up some more iron. Wait, that's cobblestone? Is that lo Oh, I thought it was a spawner. Ooh. Why? Oh, there is a spawner. I found one. There's so many zombies. Do a little bat fine bats are okay bats are not evil in this game okay i'm going in i'm going in totally fine totally fine absolutely secure in here and what do we got music disc nice bread food i can eat more oh a zombie butcher's head wait oh wait i got an idea we'll fix up that mob spawner here in a minute but i've got an idea we have to go do some trolling who's online eloise lives next to me we can go troll her she's new and we've added in here if you take a note block we've added a data pack to where if you put the mob head on top of it it just makes a bunch of sounds <laughs> so let's go see if we can find her right if she left the ufo tree she deserves every amount of pain that this might cause well not really here i will wait i'm gonna sit in a little box until i hear her walking around you're underneath my house where are you <laughs> no 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 <laughs> can we do this to lizzie's house oh yeah 100 percent. yeah that sounds great you want to go do it now do you think yes, she's there because i also have something to show her what do you mean she's not home <gasps> oh there oh. she goes wow <laughs> I have made Ooh. a pot. Wow, that looks amazing. Do you like it? What happens if you get thought, the advancement? Did you get every, did you think they all had to be different? I thought, I thought they all had to be the same. Whoa. <laughs> I thought they all had to be the same. How does it, what do I do? That is not the reaction I was oh, expecting. Like that. Oh, that. Even a, not even not even a just a, just a look and just then in uh oh that they were. <laughs> can i my villager head back now i say next step i want to smelt down a ton of this stone so we can start uh leveling up our stone masons a little bit more it's just gonna take a little while for this all to smelt hello hi owen how hello. you doing i'm good how are you i'm doing good i'm doing good watch out You've this parrot loves to mimic creepers oh really he has scared me more than anything else on the server Oh my gosh. I'm coming along because I, I heard that you had some stone masons. I do. I do. I I've got... I hear them now. <laughs> I got two of two boys right in here ready hey, to go. Still kind of working on leveling them up, but they're getting there. Uh, I need 200 blocks. <laughs> uh, of, of course. Of course, yeah. How about you come with me on a little mission to get two yeah. more villagers... Uh -huh. We turn one of them into a Fletcher, so he will trade sticks for emeralds, and we can get a third stonemason that we can use to that, be able to get even more. That that sounds like a great idea. When I was here last, there was like eight or nine villagers, so I wonder if whoever okay. made that pillar was like, oh, hey, somebody so. made a route to a village I can steal all the villagers from. Oh, here we go. Oh, There's that a... was not me. Oh, well, it's ours now, I guess. Yep, this was, I claim this village. Oh, 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 no, no, come this way. That's great. Yeah, keep going this way. Yeah, good job, buddy. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Keep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep moving. There you go. Yeah, off the path block. Yeah. Off the path. Yeah. There you go. And we're good. That is a surreal sight. Just watching you <laughs> sail down. I got to figure out who else is trying to kidnap my villagers I'm kidnapping. Yeah. What the heck? Go get your job. Yeah, look at yeah. you. Just got to slowly box them in and they'll get into their corner. You can have your job back, sir. Welcome, welcome. We'll lock you in in a minute. Sounds like Owen's going to be hanging out here for a little while, which is a good thing as that'll mean somebody's always going to be here. So the cows keep growing up, which is awesome. But the herd should be almost large enough to get all of the leather that I need to be able to make my bookshelves. Hello. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're saying until you put the salmon head on. Glug, glug, no. Glug. Oh. <gasps> we oh, have that thing no. as well. We have that thing as well. I didn't realize we had that thing. <laughs> oh, that's, we've stopped that sword. I hate that. Yes. What's up, Glove Glove? Oh. Scott decided to also stop by and hang out for a little while as Owen was trading with the villagers, so I spent some time catching up with my friends and working on the base, which was just so much fun. But I prepped up for our future enchanting tower, I was breeding up the cows a ton to get even more leather, and I expanded the fields a good amount. 
genuinely having so much fun on the server right now just catching up with all of my friends so if this is just a bunch of just like random bits tied together sorry i'm just having a lot of fun actually playing minecraft again which is just really cool but i believe we now finally have enough cows look at the size of this herd it's a whole lot of mooing meaning it's time to cull the herd a little to get some leather and we have ourselves no enchanting table. Why am I forgetting how to make an enchanting table? Is it this? It's been a long time since I've made one of these, okay? But my plan was, I mentioned an enchanting tower. I want to put the enchanting setup right here, kind of hidden underground. And then if we make ourselves 15 bookshelves and 30, great. Ooh, that's efficiency four already. Ooh, ooh, first enchant. I know this pick is half broken. Just let me, let me do it. It's fine. It's okay and it's not okay we're gonna retry this one because i really want to get some fortune and wow owen has left a lot of sticks in here you know what i'll i'll help him out how many can we trade for some emeralds mostly because i also need the levels and he just wants the emeralds i'm breaking three efficiency four that's better that's better what's the next one efficiency for okay we'll keep this for now with the base done i want to work up a square tower going from our birch and moving into sandstone to give it a little bit more of a highlight than we had with our first building still in the same vibe just slightly different to help develop this build theme a touch more while exploring what blocks are going to work together as i'm not really pre-planning any of this uh, just some good old-fashioned minecraft building and you know what i'm pretty happy with how this has turned out so far we could throw a light in there to keep it all safe and yep verb is on my shoulder i would love for him can i push you right over here please yeah let's just have him sitting right there oh it's so cute i have a lot more space down here than i really realized originally so uh we've got a good amount of room we can decorate which of course means um flowers right over in here and we could just do a big old decorated pot still level 30 that's good and i want to just create a really cozy environment as we're moving so maybe we just plop a few more of these around too yeah look how cute this is oh, i absolutely love this coming together i've done so many random little things today that it's very nice to actually get this in and there we have it, my friends, the first episode of Minecraft SOS. We're still alive. We've, re we've resurrected somebody, and it's been really, really awesome to be able to meet up with all of my friends and game again. Leave a like down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. This is going to be a super fun series, so make sure to stay tuned. And with that, my friends, I'll catch you all on the flip side.